Hi everybody, welcome to today's vlog. Today I am going to be doing a wood craft. I have seen these going around Pinterest and so I decided to do it myself. If you guys want to know how to do this super fun, easy winter time craft, please, please stay tuned and I will walk you through all of the steps. These are all of the supplies that you will need. Two paintbrushes, whichever size you choose. I chose a big one inch one and then a one third inch brush also. Two colors of paint. I chose this tropical blue and the toasted marshmallow. These both are just acrylic paints. Um, they're quick drying and they're easy to use and they come out of clothes very easily if you do get them in your clothing. You will need one sawtooth hanger and two half inch nails, one hammer, and one piece of wood the length and size of your choice. It was just a remnant piece of wood that I decided that I would craft with for this craft. You can go ahead and sand it if you would like or make the edges just a little bit straighter because as you can see mine is a little bit crooked but for this kind of a craft I think it's fun to just use it as it is and so I am not going to sand it or anything before I use it. Step one is to clear the area that you're going to be working at and lay down anything like paper towel or newspaper to prevent spilling and so that you do not stain your carpet, your table, or the area that you are working at. Um, I used six pieces of paper towel and then two paper plates so that the paper plates just boost it off of the paper towel so that it will not stick and have any paper stuck to it. And I just set my supplies over to the left so that they are convenient for when I need them. The next step is to choose which side of the board that you want to use. The other side kind of had scuffs on it, so I'm going to use this side. Um, as I said, you can choose whatever paint you want to, but I am going to start with my toasted marshmallow and make that my base coat. First thing you need to do is to shake your paint. Since this is going to go all over, I am just going to take it and squeeze a big old dot on my area that I am painting. Now, I'm going to take my paintbrush and spread it around. just make sure that there is no line here of paint because it just doesn't look very good so if you do get paint up here just take your brush and just even it out just drag it up onto your painting so that there is not any lines or bubbles now as you can see this already is dry all these little paint marks are from when I was painting around it so what I'm going to do is take more paint and do another coat just because I did want that a bit darker than it is. And when you do wet your paintbrush, just put it on the very dab end because it will spread up into the bristles and then it is really hard to get out. And as you are applying paint, remember that it's easy to it's easier and works better if you go with the grain of the wood instead of against it. 
Now, however many coats you will want to put on is totally up to you guys. Um, because I'm kind of going for like a shabby chic look with this, I am just going to do two coats because I think that that is all that I will need. And because I do want this to be a wall hanging, or I'm going to show you guys how to make it a wall hanging, I am not going to paint the back side. If you were to set this on a stand, and you would want to paint both sides of the wood so that it's not just this color on one side and the wood on the next. So now I'm going to patiently wait here as this dries before I move on to the next step. Now I'm going to take my tripod of paint and write out the letters. For this step you are going to be wanting to use your smaller paintbrush. You can even use a detail brush if you would like. I'm really good at freehanding so I am just going to freehand all of this. I think that I am going to go ahead and add just three little snowflakes.
done with that, all I'm going to do is just let them dry and then I am going to turn it over and put the sawtooth hanger on the back. If you are planning to clear coat your woodcraft, then this would be the time to do it and then also let that dry. But as of right now, I am not going to. The next step is optional. If you plan on hanging this from a wall, you will need to do the following. So now it is time to use your hammer, your saw tooth hanger, and your two nails. So what you want to do is make sure that this is placed right in the middle of your board. I am going to stick it towards the top. And what you want to do is just eyeball it. You can measure it if you want to. And then I am going to just hold my nail in my hand. And that is how you put in the sawtooth hanger. So after you have done that step, you are finally done. Thank you for watching my fun Let It Snow Wood craft. Until next time, thank you guys. Bye. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you, if you have not already because we have a lot more wood sign crafts coming up. Thanks guys. Until next time. Bye. Good morning, everybody. So, ow, just on my toe. Liam's high chair. Yep, that felt great. Um, we just got up and we walked all over the place and we couldn't find little elf. But we walked into the kitchen. Look at what we've seen. Who is that, Liam? What is he doing? What's he doing, Liam? Liam, look at that elf. <laughs> What did he do to our bananas? What did he do? Did he draw minions on them? What the heck? What the heck? Why do they have minions? Did you do that, Liam? Well, Alf, you surely are creative. Oh, yep, look at him. He's even got a Sharpie marker. Silly little Elf. See, silly little elf.